Hey boardies, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon. Today I'm bringing you how to set up, play and review Scape. This is the second edition by Pac Gallo Arandondo. And uh, uh, I might have completely pronounced that wrong to be honest, but I'll keep this in. So this is GDM, this is GDM Games. There's another game by them. And yes, there's a playlist for them. I was trying to pronounce that last name one more time. Arredondo, yeah, Arredondo, yeah, go. So this is based on The Great Escape. I even have some natural light going on here to kind of show this kind of searchlight effect. It is a team-based game, but only uh, the bad guys will win, or if it's the good guys, it's either both the sets of good guys will win, which represents the REF, the British, and the Americans. So either the British are gonna win, or the Americans are gonna win, or both the British and the Americans are gonna win. I put these away because the last time I played this was as a four. Uh, there's lots of player counts you can play it up to. It's a three to 10 player game, ages eight plus, takes around 20 minutes. I've seen this game play in, in little as 10 minutes, in fact. So you have various cards, various different letters. So what you're going to do initially is you're going to take all these different cards and sort them out initially to tell you how many different player counts you have. All these different cards have letters S-C-A-P-E, like the word escape, but make sure we pronounce it scape. And it is capitalized. So give these a good shuffle. Of course, please hit that like button. Please share. Please hit the notification bell to catch all the new videos. And this is also going to be in that how to set up, play and review playlist, the Mass Games playlist, Family Weight playlist, etc. So you have four different characters. So you have four different characters in a four player game, but you are gonna be playing with five cards. So one will not be played with. I say four different characters. You've got uh, this person, the RAF person, you've got the USA person here, the Gestapo. And I say there's a, an extra character. It's not really, it's just the amount of cards that you're playing with. So depending on your player count, you are gonna play with different amounts. So this is in Spanish. You may have seen my unboxing video. The rest of the stuff is under there. So please check out my unboxing videos. Unboxing videos are there to see what's inside the game, but also an overview about the game as well. And it lets you know what's coming to the channel soon. So as you see, we're setting this up for a four to five player game. Use two RAF cards, two USAAF cards, and one Gestapo card. So here we are, and I will be doing it face up just to show you, but we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna reveal who am I. I happen to be the RAF, so now they go down here. Everybody else is gonna be different. I'll leave them off to the side. Then what you're going to do is you're gonna take this deck of cards, and you're initially going to shuffle and hand out a amount of card each. You're handing out four cards each. One, two, three, four. Okay, what is the aim of the game? Well, the winner, you need to try and get the word escape written out. Or escape, sorry, I said it again. So you're going to have a P here. You're going to have various other things going on here. And in clockwise order, you must play a card. So you're going to look at your cards initially and think what you want to play. So what I'll be doing is playing a card face down. So everyone initially wants to make out as if they're good. Otherwise, everyone's just going to try and react to whatever the, the bad person, the Gestapo person is doing. So you're going to look at your cards, and I'll talk about this in a moment, but we have various symbols at the top here. You're either going to have the um, USAAF card, or the REF card, or they could be a Gestapo card, as and when we'll see them. So on the REF, I want them to be appearing good. So I'm now going to grab the card relevant for that. It happens to be an A and place it straight down in the centre of the table. Then what happens is at the end of my turn, I'll be drawing up a card. So I draw up a card. In this instance, I've got another A card. Oh, I do apologize. You're gonna have two decks you can draw from. So I could have drawn an A, let's say here, or I could have drawn an S. Let's just say I draw the S, and now it's the next person's turn. So they're gonna have four cards, and then they're gonna move on again, and they are going to, I don't know, play another A. So now we don't know if it's an RAF card or not. Then someone else goes, and they play an E. Somebody else goes, and maybe they play a P. And right now I need to remember how to spell the word escape. And then maybe it's back to my turn, and I play, let's just say I play a C. Someone else plays and they play a thing. So right now, when the game ends, you do have to play all the cards in your hand as well. So I believe there's a 55 cards, so you do need to go through the entire deck of cards. Then you need to make sure that when we get to the stage where all the cards have been played, including all these, all the cards in our hand, we then reveal the cards and let's just have a look. Well, we have an RF card, so currently they're winning. We have a USAF card, so currently they're tied for, we're both going to win, they both escaped. Then we've got this card, so now the USA are going to win. And then we've got this, which is again, the USA is definitely going to win. And it turns out that both of these cards come up. In this instance, the USA did better. So the USA team wins. Maybe only one person's got the USA card. Maybe it's not in the game. But what I'll show you is there are also some other cards to be uh, aware of. And that's because the Gestapo card are in here too. Now, if any of these cards get revealed, just the top card shows a Gestapo card, then the team that is the uh, the allies, let's call them, the, the British, the Americans, they lose, and the Gestapo team wins. 
So this is what the game's all about. It's about keeping an eye on what's going on, working with your opponents, and of course, working with, you know, you're not knowing who's everyone else is. So that is one thing to be doing. Also, you can see there's some other things down here going on. On your cards, you can do one of two things. You can place the card face down. You need to make sure you have those five letters come out. The other thing you can do instead is use this. So if you think you know who the baddie is, you might want to be passing a card to the right. That's what this represents. Maybe you want to secretly look, so you've got these cards all face down. Let's just happen to grab some more cards. Let's do this. You play this card, not into the center, but into the discard pile, and this allows you to look at two cards. So secretly, or sorry, in this instance, you're revealing both of them. So in this case, you've got this. So right now, like, oh, who played the C? Oh, they played the C only because they had that, or maybe they want to get rid of it early on, that kind of stuff. So it's very interesting. So like I said, you need to be getting these cards out of your hand, Maybe you play them out. In this case, what you're doing is you're destroying a card. What you're doing in this instance is you're placing this card into play in the middle of the table, and basically you're going to discard a card in front of you face up. So you'll discard one card in play from those middle cards. This is what this does. So you're not going to play it down here. You're going to place it down over here, out to the side, and then go, ah, let's lose this card. Now, you could do it, of course, on this card, but if that was the only card, well, it's still a C, so it makes no difference in that instance. So that's what this is about. It's about revealing cards or destroying cards. And of course, you can work together. But of course, maybe you want to be using this effect instead because you want to be winning on the USA team. A bit of Prisoner's Dilemma going on here. This one lets you look at an identity. So right now, I'm this person, but who's this person to my left? Oh, there goes Starfo. So in this instance, I might want to be thinking about what cards I chuck them. Maybe I want to be chucking them these better cards and not the Gestapo cards. So it's a very interesting game. Like I said, the deck runs out, and then obviously you're playing the last few cards, and that's it. A lot of strategy, I think, personally. I won't go into too much detail, but obviously uh, you could choose to... I've played as both characters, played the RAF the first game, and I think we managed to... Oh, no, we happened to maybe lose, or we won, I can't recall, but I gave the wrong card to the opponent next to me, and, and they happened to win that final turn because someone put down a card. So you, if you do have these Gestapo cards, you want to be very careful because if you have them in your hand... The downside is you end up with people who are thinking, why are they playing them out into the centre? Why aren't they just ditching them? So you do have to be aware of, of how you want to play it. Equally, when I play this Gestapo, if you hold on to a Gestapo card towards the end, when you're passing cards, you're like, oh, no, I've run out of options. So like I said, you've got to be careful of when you have them. I think this is a very good game. I really enjoy this. It's As soon as we play the game, we play another game straight afterwards. It was that interesting. This strong, bright white light is really nice to look at as well, just on the box. Um, I was worried about the theme, and I did play it with, uh, with at least one German person. They didn't mind it from, that, from a theme perspective. I think it's very effective. I think it's a very clever idea. Like I said, it's the second edition. It's a different designer they put in it. It's actually the owner of GDM going on here. But like I said, different characters, different, uh, different player counts will vary things. Depending on who you're going to play and, and when you're playing your card is a big factor on what you're playing out. It's a, it's a light game. It's it's literally, you know, do you want to win by playing, you know, by working with your other team? Do you want to be playing out, you know, there's only going to be a, at least one other person, REF, if you are REF. But do you want to be trying to work together, which may be an early doors kind of thing to do. But then someone chucks down a card face down and think, well, why would they do that? And it's actually a Gestapo card. So I'm trying to break the game. I, I've yet to do it so far. And I think because it's a higher player count game, and probably as a party game, you're going to keep on playing it quite a few different times. I don't see that occurring. I, I like I said, I can't really fault it. Quality of cards is fine. It's you know nice, thick enough cards. I like the fact it can go up to ten. This was played at the inaugural SlagCon, that Simon Lander Mass Games convention, and like I said, it went down well. This uh, this has been a hit, and my current rating is something like a seven point. Three, four out of ten. Uh, there's a couple of typos, I think, in the rules. A couple of ambiguities whereby if you look at somebody else's character, do you announce it? Do you reveal it? Do you talk about it or not? And I think that comes down to, I happened to reveal the Gestapo quite early on, and I think they wouldn't have been happy if I'd have told everyone what it was. But that's part of the game if you wish to. You can choose to say, well, I know what it is or I don't know. Equally, when you discard a card, I think that when you discard a card from, um, from the centre of the table, or maybe you can get cards out from somebody else, you could choose to actually say, right, everyone's discarding a card. Let's not reveal what that card is. Let's just discard it off to the side. I think that's a tighter, closer game. I prefer it. I think it adds to the tension and the peril. And like I said, I highly recommend uh, Escape. Like I said, very, very interesting game. 
uh, lovely to discover and uh, I've really enjoyed it so far. It's a shame, like I said, I've had it for a couple of years and I definitely got around to playing it again, I think due to COVID, trying to get this game at a higher player count, but for a party game, this is 100% there. Now back to the table in this 4K video.